Hello, in this video, I'll show you how you can perform an ANOVA one-way analysis. In fact, the one-way analysis of variance ANOVA is used to determine whether there are any statistically significant differences between the means of three or more independent groups. It's an extension of the two sample hypothesis testing for comparing means to more than two samples. Some of you might ask, why not to compare groups with multiple t-tests? In fact, every time you conduct a t-test, there is a chance that you will make the type 1 error. This error is usually 5% or the alpha. For instance, by running two t-tests on the same data, you will increase your chance of making a mistake to 10%. If it was for four tests, it will increase it to 20%. Moreover, to know if there is any difference exists, I can use simply the ANOVA and figure the difference in means by one calculation or by one statistical test. When performing a one-way ANOVA, a minimum sample size of 30 is desired, but equal numbers per group is not required. So as you can see here in our example, we want to compare the score of students' exam that they were taught in three different ways, online learning, traditional classroom learning, and a combination of both. So as you can see here, we're having the different scores, okay? And the number per group, it's not the same. Okay, so we don't have any problem in this. So before running any statistical test, we have to set first the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis, H0, it tells us that there is equal means among the groups. So the mean for group one, the average score for the group one equal the average score for group two and the average score for uh, group three. However, the alternative hypothesis, it tells us that one of these groups is different than the other. It can be the average of uh, online or the average of classroom, that it's different than the others. So, and we have also to set alpha 0 0.05. Uh, one more thing, okay, here what we are doing, uh, since we are analyzing variance, we use the F distribution, also called as variance ratio distribution as it usually defines the ratio of the variances of two normally distributed populations. So here we're having an F distribution, okay? The same as uh, the t-test and the z-test, okay? You're having the rejection zone, which is here, okay? And we're having the null hypothesis zone, it's here. So if we will, uh, the number will fall here, okay? We will, re we will reject the null hypothesis. And it's based on alpha, the 0.05, k minus 1, the first degree of freedom, and n minus k, the second degree of freedom. And we will see it later in the results. So we go here to data, click on data analysis, and we select ANOVA single factor. So we have to select the data here. Okay, and then because labels, we are choosing the labels, we put alpha 0 0.05, and also we select where we want to have our results. And we click on OK. So we're having here the results of ANOVA. As you can see, we're having the three groups, the different count of these groups, and we're having the average, and what we are doing, we are comparing whether there is a, any statistically significant difference among uh, these groups. One uh, thing that you have to know that we're having an assumption before that we run, run the ANOVA that the different groups, they are having similar variances or equal variances. So here I want to show you and to explain to you how the table is constructed. We're having SS or it's sum of squares. So this uh, sum of squares, it's between groups. It means it's between each number in the set and the average number of the whole set squared. This is the difference, and this is why it's called sum of squares. Or it could be sum of squares within groups. It means here we're having group one, 
okay? And we're having the average of group one. So the difference squared, okay, it's the sum of squares within groups. Then we're having the degrees of freedom. As we said in this test, we're having two degrees of freedom. The first one, it's K minus one, because we're having here three groups, online, classroom, and combination. So it's a three minus one, it's two. And the total uh, number of data that we're having, it's 57, okay, 18 plus 20 plus 19. Minus K, it's a three, so it's 54. And this is the second degree of freedom. Now, NS, it's the mean square, okay? So uh, we can get it, if you want to know more, by um, uh, dividing this number by two, okay? And dividing this number by 54, and we get 73. What we want here, okay, we can do it in two ways. The easiest way is using the p-value, okay? So here the p-value that we're having, it's 0 0.02. It means it will fall somewhere in the rejection zone. So we have to reject the null hypothesis. It means one of the groups, it's having a different mean than the other, okay? In order to uh, figure out where exactly is the difference among groups, several post-hoc tests are adopted. One of them is the Bonferroni test, also known, uh, also known as Bonferroni correction. It suggests that the p-value for each test must be equal to alpha divided by the number of tests that we are performing. In other terms, if you have three comparisons, like our case, you divide the 0 0.05 by three, and like this you can know which group is different than the other, okay? Because here, according to the ANOVA one-way analysis, it doesn't tell us which group is different, okay? However, it tells us that there is a difference among these groups and one of them is different. So later on in future video, I will show you how you can perform the Bonferroni correction, okay? Uh, to know which group is different than the other. For now, thank you for watching. If you have any question, please write it down in the comments. And stay tuned for future videos.